Thousands of people turned up at the health camp at the Nkoni Parish in Luengo District. The initiative, supported by the Masakada Houses and LifeNet International, was in commemoration of the International Day of the Sick. Um, both treatment and screening is given out to patients free of charge. Usually, most of our PNFPs, they usually pay something small. So this is like a, a give back, a give back the way we give back to the sick, let them come and get treated free of charge, checked up, and advised accordingly. The health camp was presided over by Bishop John Baptist Kagua of the Greater Massacre Diocese. Bishop Kagua highlighted the importance of the society collaborating and curbing increased immorality, especially among the youth. <laughs> My good people, we have to collaborate in order to raise a morally upright society. You know one thing about Uganda, we invite almost everybody. Unfortunately, some of the people whom we are inviting into this country, they are bringing in very immoral practices, and these practices include homosexuality. The huge turn-up of the elderly at the health camp led to the area member of parliament to support the idea of building homes of the elderly. We need to pay more attention to the elderly people, how they can access uh, medicine or health facilities. And today, I've heard from the Bishop Kagwa when he, uh, he said that we should build elderly houses as it was uh, during... Uh, during uh, Cardinal Nsubuga at Naruko. An idea first fronted by Bishop John Baptist Kagwa. However, the idea seems to contradict the African cultural home setting where the elderly form part of the extended family system. The Africans are used to that kind of uh, keeping the elderly at home. But now this trend has changed. The elderly are no longer at home with their grandchildren. The grandchildren have moved out. So you find the elderly can be in, in the house alone. So could be to serve to a certain extent. But I believe it is a good idea. Dennis Igor for UBC News.